Hey, hey, hey. It's your sister, day three of Vlogmas. I'm taking y'all into a day of my life. And this is what your sister does. She does it all, baby. I'm riding my bike. I'm out here riding this bike, guys. Trying to stay in shape and just have a healthier way of living. Just to keep my, my focus on me, you know, as far as, like on my life for me and my children. You know, we can't be the best that we can be if we're not in the best shape that we, we should be in when, it's dealing, when you're dealing with your family. So not only have I changed the way I eat and think, but I also changing, are changing the way I live. And that is so important to me as a mother, a wife, a sister, an auntie. It's just really important to me to lead by example. How could I tell you or my followers or anybody else to do right in life and to do this and do that if I'm not living right? And this is the fun part right here, guys. I don't want to cut it off my conversation. I'll get back to it. But I'm going down the hill. And this is, I'm like a kid at a candy store. I love going down the hill. Ooh, I love going down the hill, guys. Yay, yay, one hand. Because I can't do two hands. I'm, I'm 48 years old. Doing two hands might take me out of here. I can't do two hands. Honey, you know a fall at this age ain't even a fall no more. It's a downfall. So I ain't trying to be a downfall to myself. Now getting back to what I was talking about as far as living right. You not you can't be any good to yourself if you're not being good. To, I mean you can't be good to anybody if you're not being good to yourself. You all follow me, right? I mean, I'm not one to get up and do a powerhouse workout, but I'm not a lazy person. I feel like everything you do in your house is far as sweeping and cleaning, washing walls, and folding blankets and comforters and laundry, all of that plays into a health factor of your life, you know? I used to always ask my mama, Mom, why you always be sweeping so much? Like, she sweep like a mad woman. I'm talking about she wanted them people get the broom and had that broom working, like, bah, tearing that broom up. And I said, why you sweep like you mad at the broom? She said, girl, I ain't mad at this broom. I'm getting my exercise. She said, don't you know when you sweeping with this broom and you got this broom and you sweeping? She said, you ain't, you burning calories and you getting fat all the way from around your chest and your heart. And my mom was this little woman, like 120 pounds soaking wet on a good day. But, and she walked a lot, cardio, very good. But she just stayed a nice size, but you would see her, she never got back fat. And you would see her washing walls. And I'm talking about just doing all type of stuff. And I just said, in this season of life that I'm in right now, I'm gonna convert back to doing a lot of things that I saw my grandparents do and my mom do. Ooh, I'm out of breath, y'all. It's like six blocks so far. I had did a couple blocks before I turned my camera on and I had forgot. But now, a sister is torn, honey. Yes, I'm tired but I can do it. But converting back to the things that I used to see my parents do, you know, my mom wasn't able to go to a health club and have a membership and be this workout mom, you know? So we got out in the yard, we did yard work, we did tuck pointing, brick laying, everything that needed to be fixed around where we grew up at, we did it. We painted, we was carpenters, all of that. And um, 
My grandma, my mom would ride bikes with us all the way downtown. You know, we would get on them bikes with a basket with my dad, and we would ride like, we ride like rock stars. Just be riding. And it was good exercise. And some of y'all that know me know I got these, these big old strong legs from when I played basketball uh, in high school and college. So, and then I stood up doing hair for years, like three decades, you know. So, I was young when I started too. So that right there uh, had me with some very strong legs. Like my history. Look, guys. This is so pretty. Look, I want y'all to see this. Look at the Christmas decoration. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't that beautiful, guys? It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Just wanted to share that with you all. The beautiful Christmas decoration. Y'all excuse me. Where is my tissue? I got some napkins. Oh. Is that a dead squirrel? Girl, yes, that's a big old dead possum. That's a possum. Ooh. That's a posse. But yeah, just saying all that, hell, I, I, I don't have the coins to go into a, uh, a health club right now and do workout. So I use what I got. And that's my bike. That's my mental state of mind. And the things around my house. A lot of things my husband always say. They let the kids do that. No, because the kids ain't going to be the only one reaping from these benefits. I'm going to wash these walls today because I'm going to get the glutes in the back. I'm going to uh, get me some cardio up and down the steps, filling the buckets up. And this is what to do. As a parent, as a mother, I, like my phone had took off ringing, y'all. I don't know what it was. At the blue. When I get back home, I'm honestly gonna have to look for my legs. Cause I don't know who needs I'm riding this bike with. But I do know I'm gonna need some more knees when I get home. How y'all doing? Is it good exercise? Yes, guys. Your sister is riding a bike, and I'm tired. I gotta take me a break. I done reached my mound point. So now, I gotta go up this hill, same hill I flew down. I gotta go up this hill, unless I go all the way around to get back home. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I ain't gonna be able to make it back up that hill. I think I'm gonna have to turn around, turn my vessel around and go the long way. Cause I ain't gonna be able to go up that hill. <clears throat> I ain't gonna be able to do that hill. Who I fooling? A sister ain't gonna be able to do that heel, baby. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to do that heel. I can't take that heel, baby. Real talk. Real talk, I can't take that heel. Ooh. 